How do you think we can motivate more young people to enter and stay in this field? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, my experience in public service and in, in my relatively brief time at HUD has been that a lot of the folks who do this work and stick with it, because we have a lot of folks, as you all know, who do not. Uh, in fact, one of our big challenges at HUD is, is getting people over this hump of three years. A lot of folks leave before they've completed three years. This is like, for those of you all who have been teachers, you know, in the teaching profession, there are a lot of folks who, who start it and maybe they do it for two years or three years and then they leave. Same thing that we see with our workforce at HUD is that you have to find ways to satisfy the, the, the mission-driven aspect of this. It's been my experience that the, that the people who get into this work are doing it because they, they care, because they want to positively impact people's lives. So we have to create a greater connection between what people are doing on an everyday basis and the outcomes of their work, you know, the, the good things, the benefits that happen in people's lives. What does that mean at a practical level? That means how do you structure your employment so that folks who are oftentimes sitting behind a desk uh, get a chance to actually interact with the people that we serve, um, periodically have a chance to see projects kind of as much as possible all the way through so that you make that connection with what their passion is, helping people and seeing the benefits to what they actually do on a daily basis, which let's face it, a lot of times is not glamorous work, um, but and a lot of times it's done behind a desk. I think if, if those of us in housing or, or any of the departments that depend on mission-driven people can get better about making that connection, we can attract more folks. Uh, that and more money, uh, that always helps, but I know that people are not doing it for the money. Um, so I believe that uh, you know, feeding that mission-driven aspect is, is the key. What advice would you give young people uh, who are interested or thinking about entering into public service? Uh, what, what would you tell them? What would your, your message be? Uh, my number one message would be um, to understand why they are doing it, uh, to understand uh, whom they're trying to serve <laughs> by going into public service. Um, understand basically at some, at least at a basic level, what do you believe? What are your values? I think people get into problems in public service when they go into it and they're going into it like because they want the attention or they like the, the allure of it or the access that you get to go to places or deal with people or whatever it is and they don't really have a backbone of perspective on why they're there, what they want to do. Um, or that perspective is very simplistic. Uh, I would say to, to folks to understand fundamentally who are you trying to serve, why are you at it, um, why is it worth it to you, what are you trying to accomplish. And, um, and the other thing I would say is that more, more young people should go into public service because, because in American culture, you know, politicians, public servants, whatever you want to call folks, have been derided, caricatured as just, you know, they're all crooks or... Uh, you know, everybody has an ulterior motive. I think that's affected our young people in not wanting to go into public service. And the fact is that youth do bring a lot of, a lot of positive attributes, uh, a, a belief that they can actually get things done. Um, oftentimes, uh, you know, the, the naivety can be good in certain measure, uh, and, and they bring a real energy to it. 